can see what we're dealing with here. See how steep this is. Like, this is crazy. Okay, folks, you saw it first here, Albertine Creek. So it's uh, September now, I'm back at home, and I'm meeting up with Celine and Stefan, a couple of my hiking buddies, and we're going to head out to uh, Mount Russell. So I'm just walking out to the uh, Sulphur Gates viewpoint here at Sulphur Gates Recreation Area, just north of Grand Cache. Just going to have a quick look at the river here. It's uh, Sunday evening, so our plan is to put in over here somewhere, just down here in this cove, with our pack rafts, come down along this way, come down along underneath this bank, tight to this bank here, cut across. And then we'll turn up around this uh, large sandbar and get onto that small sandbar over there. There's a landing point just over there. We might have to walk the inside channel with our rafts. Anyway, we're just going to get in the bush over here and uh, camp for the night. By the time we get over there now and get camp set up, get a little fire going and uh, chillax a bit for the night and then early morning we'll get up grab some breakfast and then we're going to uh, see if we can punch it out in one day so the plan is to get up to tree line here this is mount modsley we we'll get up the tree line on modsley just uh, just left of this big gorge that comes down the middle here i'm not sure if you can see it skirt around on the uh, open country and then we go down into Albertine Creek and then up over on up over Mount Ros uh, Russell uh, and then back again. So that's the plan. I just uh, scooted down a little bit ahead of them. Celine was just coming in from Grand Prairie. I actually passed her at the top of town on my way down here. I wanted to have a little peep at the river and uh, I'll get my stuff ready. down here and uh, yeah last time we crossed here last year doing Modsley I rolled my raft down here just above the gates lost my GoPro it was on my head so this time I've got a body mount I'm gonna try to put my GoPro on my body mount in my fully uh, waterproof case and see if we can't uh, get a little bit of video of uh, pack rafting across the river here I lost my last GoPro, so hopefully I don't lose this one. There'll be two in a year, and that would not be good. <laughs> anyway, glad to get back at it. This is my first hike this season, which is the end of the season. Uh, so we'll see what happens.
Good evening. Sorry. Shined the light right at you. So it's, uh, I got my camera working. It's 5 after 11. Uh, we just had a little campfire there for a couple hours. And a couple little toddies just to relax. And now we're all going to bed. We'll be up early in the morning to uh, grab some breakfast, some coffee. And then we'll be heading up the mountain. So we'll check in with you early in the morning. Uh, keep you up to date while it's going on. Beautiful night out tonight. Wind died right out. Uh, stars out everywhere there. Had a little issue with the camera. I think my battery might have died or something there. But I've got two more. So I just got a new one on now. And uh, we're good to go. Good morning. Good morning. So it's uh, 7.30 on Monday morning, we're just up, got breakfast, some coffees, everybody taking care of business, so to speak, we're soon going to hit the road, not the road, but the trail. Just got the fire going again, warmed up a little bit. Yeah, we're all good, looks like a beauty day. No wind as of yet, hopefully it stays that way. Skies look clear, a little bit of cloud off to the west. Uh, if you can see back there, some cloud back there through the trees. Uh, we're gonna head over this way now. The trail is just over here, 100 feet or so. Goes on up this way. Not as bad as the last time we were up here. There we are, just over 2k in on the fire break. Lightning Ridge up here, Stern Mountain there. We started down in the river valley. Yeah, the old ticker's pumping now. Getting into the hilly terrain again here. Sun's coming up over here. Looks like it's gonna be a beauty day. A little breeze here this morning, but hoping that'll kind of uh, peter off a bit. Three and a half kilometers in, Mount Modsley, Braithwaite, and one back there with the snow on it, that's the Weber, part of it, the other part's in cloud. Still cutting out on the fire break here, another half a kilometer or so, just past this little dip. It's got this dip here up on the next rise and we cut into the woods there and we'll come out up on the front there, just in the shadow on this mountain above tree line. And we'll skirt around the mountain there. That's Mount Modsley. There's the conifers just ahead. Got ahead of me when I stopped for video. Mm. I'll catch him on the downhill. Here we are about uh, 4.6 K in at a place affectionately known as Moose Camp. Yeah, people come in here moose hunting and hiking, of course. Some wood here, a little fire pit, lots of space to put out some trees and stuff, or uh, sorry, put out some uh, tents and stuff around here.
moose antler from many years gone by. Yeah, we're gonna head off in this way. We'll be in the woods now, in the big woods pretty much until we hit tree line. So we're what, this the hour and 15 or so, hour and 20? 4.6K. Making pretty good time. Well, something just took off there in front of you. Grouse, yeah, I heard him. Fl heard his wings beating. I missed him. I didn't get him on video. We spooked a few elk there earlier before we got out on the trail on the uh, fire break as well. There was a bull elk and some cows. Oh, there goes another grouse. I missed that one too. Yeah. Okay. It's like uh, almost 8K in. Getting up into kind of what I'd call the subalpine, almost. Still a little bit big trees here, but we're, uh, excuse me, we're getting across this uh, little marshy section here. <coughs> and then we'll get into, you can see the mountain coming into view here. this marshy stuff here and we're kind of into the subalpine kind of it's the last few hundred meters of elevation before we get into the uh, into the alpine the water feature here nice Beauty, eh? A little rocky outcrop here, and then we'll then we're kind of getting into the uh, smaller alpine trees. Stefan and Celine, just ahead of. Oh, I turned the wrong way. Just going up the ridge there. The mountain is over here. All right, I'll check back. Got some climbing to do. Over and out. So this is what I never got last year because I lost my GoPro. But this is Mount Modsley. We're gonna come out just kind of where the sun is on the mountain there. Just above the tree line, skirt around. Last year we went right up this gorge to the right. On top of this peak here is where the Cairn box is. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hurry up because I know they're gone on ahead of me now. They'll be bitching because I'm taking video. <laughs> Smell the roses! Nice view back through the valley there. Beauty. So we're going around Mosley here now. All kind of big here. Some willows and pines in the little valleys. Somewhat of an indistinct trail here.
happens on the side of the mountain. It's, it's always been there. But a beauty day nonetheless. And we're 2.45, 2 hours and 45 minutes in. Okay, folks, you saw it first here, Albertine Creek. Rick and the Rockies. Celine and Stefan, we just came down here half an hour to descend down the gulch. Not fun, very steep. Now we gotta go up this puppy. This is crazy, man. Crazy! Lynn and Stefan going across Albertine Creek. Pretty nice down here in the valley, actually. This way? Yeah, he, he, he crossed over there somewhere. So, I've decided to call it quits. It's my first hike of the season. We're 10, what were we? 
got to start this again here. We're 13 kilometers in, but we've got to climb up this peak and then take the ridge up and then up to the mountain. So I'm having doubts. My legs are pretty wobbly already. Like I said, it's been my first hike this season, so sometimes you got to know when to call it quits. So I'm going to hang out here, have some snacks and uh, relax for a bit. Make my way back up to the meadow. Get on the leeward side of the meadow where I can get cell reception. I'll be able to text these guys when they're up on the ridge too. And I'll wait for them up there to get back and we'll make our way back down the camp. There they go, they just crossed the river. It's about thigh high there. Go get them! They're after hitting a couple of goals already this summer, but five months at work didn't help me get in shape for uh, for the mountains. These goals are pretty tough, man. I tell you what, I'll take some video when I go back up there. Coming down this, it's like <laughs> steep, steep, and you can see what they're looking at here. Now they've got to go up through this somehow, up on this ridge. Like that steep going up there. If I did make the summit, then I got to come back down all this and get back up this one again. So uh, I think I made the right choice here. As much as it pisses me off that I'm not going to get in there and get my stamp, um, better to just enjoy the good weather and the trail and uh, head back out. Hi there. So I started to climb up there. I hung around at the river for 20 minutes and had a couple of snacks and uh, filled up my water bottles. You can see what we're dealing with here. See how steep this is. Like this is crazy. Uh, that's where I came from. You, you know, you can. The creek is way down there. I still got a ways to go. I'm maybe only a quarter of the way up, maybe. <clears throat> to the meadow and then it's uphill on the meadow as well so it's lots of big open meadow up there so I'm going to uh, get up there and it's going to be a little windy but I'm going to explore around the meadow and stuff and uh, I'll be able to uh, get cell reception up there so I can text uh, Stefan and Celine back in the meadow. Sorry it's kind of windy, but I can't help the wind. So this is Russell right here. This is where they're going up this ridge here somewhere. I, I, I tried to see him. I thought I saw two people there, but I, I can still see the same two things, so it must be a couple of trees. But it looked like a red jacket to me from here. I don't have any binoculars unfortunately so I cannot see where they are but they're up there somewhere hopefully so it took me uh, it took us a half hour basically 35 minutes or so from here to get down to the creek it took me almost two hours to come back up out of course I was taking my time but uh, they're facing the same kind of thing over there. They got a steep climb through the bush, no trail. And then uh, once they get to that open ridge there, it's pretty easy going, but it's uh, really steep. And then once they get up to the top of this, uh, you can see the, the brown from the, the ground cover. That ends and then it's all like loose shale up through here. So yeah, it's pretty, uh, Pretty tricky route. I'm glad I turned back. There's no way I, I would have made it up there and back. It, it, impossible to get back before dark back to camp. So that, that was a good, good call on my part to turn around here. Just beautiful in here. Look at this nice big bowl back here. Awesome looking man. That's where Albertine Green comes from. Down 
there for 15 minutes or so. So uh, found a little spot out of the wind, made a phone call, uh, sent a few text messages back and forth, checked on Facebook, and Celine and Stefan made it to the top, uh, maybe a half an hour ago now. Picture of them at the Karen box. They're on their way back down. I'm just going to play around here in the meadow. texted them, told them I was over here. So, in a couple hours, we should see them back over on this side. So, it's uh, 20 after 5. So, two and a half hours ago, they summited Russell. I meandered my way back through the uh, meadows there. Didn't find too much interesting there. Just looking around at the sites and looking in the town and admiring the view basically uh, sat around a bit here and there just taking it all in anyway I was waiting for him up above there in a couple of places but the wind started picking up I tried to find some shelter but not much shelter on the side of a mountain above tree line so I uh, and the wind is blowing right across that face that we're on so I, I waited there above the trailhead for half an hour or so and just the wind was just getting cold so anyway I sent them a couple of texts they still have not responded to my texts probably got their phones off in their pockets or whatever and I just came in here and decided okay while I'm waiting for them I might as well have an air little snack light a little fire just a little one Fire is always good, warms up the soul. So, too bad I didn't have uh, my other food here. Could have made a cup of coffee or a cup of soup or noodly soup or something. Anyway, I'll have to make do with power bars and water and Gatorade, I guess. Some uh, gorp. I got some gorp here granola, oatmeal, raisins, and peanuts. So yeah, I'll wait for these guys to come along. Hopefully they won't be too much longer. Uh, we're probably an hour and a half from camp, so if they're another hour, by the time they get down here, it'll be too late to cross the river, I'm guessing. Oh, hey. So I forgot to tell you, uh, with all the excitement, when these two showed back up, at my fireplace. I forgot to break out the video and take video. So anyway, we're halfway back to camp from the tree line pretty much. So uh, yeah, I think we're going to stay tonight again. Go back, get a fire going, get some food, get a good night's sleep, pack everything up in the morning and uh, float down the river. I was just saying that. I said when I get down here a little ways, you'll be able to see the sulfur. So there's the Sulphur River Gorge running out right here. Probably in between this turn in the Swampy River and where that gorge comes out. Just on this side of the river. So yeah, we got a little bit of a little bit of a behind this mountain. But I think sunset is like 8.25, so we got about 50 minutes before the sun sets and then another 20, 25 minutes probably before it gets dark. But we got the headlights, so we can strap a headlight on and find our way. The trail's marked pretty good going down through here. So here we are. Just made camp. 821. It's like 12 and a half hours. Ooh, Nelly. Twelve and a half hours, you bet. And the sun is going to set here in the next five minutes. We're going to haul these bags off, get a fire going, get some supper started, then crash. I'll catch you later. Good morning. So we're all packed up, ready to roll. Coffee's done.
Cheers. We're going to have to go get a coffee. Then we're going to hit the river. Bags all packed up. Night two, everyone slept good, tired from the hike yesterday. I'll try to get some video crossing the river again. I'll put on my chest uh, harness with the camera, and hopefully we can get some river. We're going to float down today, get out in the channel and go down through the gates and just pull into a little road that comes down there from the just off the parking lot. All right.